the joint concession with Rift Valley Railways Arabia and two partners Uganda and Kenya was signed in 2006 in a deal that was meant to span 25 years. Eleven years after, Arabia is yet to implement what it promised in the contract. The managing director of Uganda Railways, Charles Kateba, told NTV that the company has since violated the contract terms despite several reminders to rectify the errors. Payment of fees for use of the assets that were conceded. Uh, Courage of traffic up to certain volume targets, uh, maintenance of the assets, and other uh, obligations which the concessionaire has. They were supposed to carry traffic starting with a base of 217 million net ton kilometers, and it was supposed to be grown to around, now we'll be talking of about 400 or 500 million uh, net ton kilometers. That hasn't happened. Uh, they were supposed to pay uh, fees, concession fees at the rate of 11.1% uh, of gross earnings. They have not done that. They were supposed to maintain all our assets according to industrial best practice. That hasn't happened. They were supposed to operate, for example, the route to Tanzania through, through Port Bell and Mwanza. All that has not happened. Uh, we have decided that it's better for the government to take back the concession so that URC can re reorganize the business so as to meet the original objective. On Thursday this week, during the budget day, the Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija, announced plans to terminate RFR contract. In view of the poor performance of the Rift Valley Railway concession, both Kenya and Uganda are terminating that agreement. Now, Rift Valley Railways has been given only three months to show cause why the concession should not be terminated. The notice of, of, of termination was issued on 6 June, so we expect it to run for 90 days at most. So termination could happen at the end of 90 days or before, but they have uh, a period of 90 days within which to either rectify or the concession will be terminated. However, RFR Chief Executive Officer Isaiah Okoth told NTV by telephone from Nairobi that the company is looking for another investor who will partner with RFR to rectify the errors. We are discussing with two, uh, two other investors, potential investors. One is dealing directly with the both of them are de dealing directly with the lenders, not with the shareholders. But we are negotiating with the two of them. Meanwhile, the shareholders are also putting together a package, a proposal which they have sent to the Uganda government. Of course, declined to reveal the investor. He says some of the allegations against the company are being disputed. We do not agree with all the claims that they are put in there. Number three, we are negotiating with each, each one of them to see how we can uh, resolve the situation. We do about 60,000 metric tons into Uganda, approximately. We're preparing our response so the government cannot just jump in and terminate or even execute the termination without going through the due process. RFR requires over 150 million U.S. dollars to revamp the existing railway infrastructure at the time Uganda wants to develop the much vaunted standard gauge railway line. Kenya has completed the Mombasa Nairobi standard gauge railway route, which has significantly reduced the cost of transporting goods from Mombasa to Nairobi. The Kenya notice the judge froze or suspended that notice pending a hearing. Jingo Francis, NTV.